Devs, Skips here with another video for you guys today. I just got in from a job interview. Out of all days, today they had to drop the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue trailer at 8 o'clock in the morning when I wasn't here. But I'm back now. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go watch the trailer one time and then I'm going to go back over certain scenes that I like that I um, just want to give my um, little commentary on and that will be it. Okay, okay, it's in English. Oh, it looks so good. Dream Drop Distance looks pretty damn good. In my opinion, it looks a little bit better than Birth by Sleep did when they um upscaled it. Oh god, yeah. Definitely upscaled the fuck out of this game. Just stop it. You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf. But they're not. <gasps> Favorite boss in the game. <laughs> My man Mickey. Okay, okay, here we go. My boy. The rope collapsed when the clock advanced. Okay. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? That's wait a minute, that's daybreak town. Okay, that's a swarm back in the first Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. She has Spell Weaver, so she's going to be fighting along the line. She looks like she's going to be fighting like Sora does in Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. I'm doing it again. Aqua. Damn, what the fuck? This world is full of light. What? Did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? That was foolish. I said, that's okay. quite enough. Okay, this is looking. It's um, Ephem whatever the fuck his name is, the dude from Kingdom Hearts Key. The light expire. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future, but this incident, it's nowhere to be found. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already. Why? Why did it have to come to this? Isn't oh. it duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. <laughs> we need to defy Are we getting full? Wait a minute. To protect the world. We're getting full You're battle scenes. Wrong? We're getting full battle scenes in. And there is war. You mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. Oh my god, that was a, fu a fucking great trailer. Oh, okay, December World War 2016, that's good. Upcoming announcements is- Oh, so that means no Kingdom Hearts E3? Shit, I'm gonna have to make a video about that. No Kingdom Hearts E3. But okay, you guys, Um, I'm not really gonna edit this video too much because I'm just gonna go through it because I don't want to make a separate analysis video. So we're just gonna mute this. Um, Obviously, as you can see, they have upgraded Dream Drop Distance a fuck ton. It looks hella better. It looks, honestly, it looks so fucking good. Nothing amazing, but way better than it did along the lines of the 3DS. Especially when you come and look at the gameplay, it looks hella better. So, moving on from that, Aqua. She looks fucking amazing. The game looks amazing. Hair, the clock, and all that shit. And the thing is, I want to make sure that I can say this correctly before I even point something out here. Okay, here you go. That town that Aqua fell down into, without a doubt, is Daybreak Town. You see this little water fountain right here? Look at this water fountain, and then I'm going to go back into the trailer. Let me go back when we're playing, when we're looking at Aqua's gameplay. Right here is what I'm talking about. That is the same tower that we saw the foreteller talking at telling the Keyblade wielders not to fight in the war, but to go into the worlds beyond their own. That is fucking crazy. So, apparently Aqua is trying to get to the Castle of Dreams in the Realm of Darkness, maybe to get to the Realm of Light. But she ends up falling downwards, and she ends up falling into the ruins of what Daybreak Town used to be, which is crazy in itself. And on top of that, we see her doing all these crazy gameplay things, and you see right here, you see Spellweaver, obviously. 
and you see shortcuts. So what are these shortcuts? Those crazy lightning spells that she was pulling off or those ice spells or, the, or those just regular magic moves as far as we are concerned. And you can use those in many different ways. That's very interesting to see. And from this clip right here, you can obviously see that she is, she has the same type of command deck or slash style called Spell Weaver. Obviously, that's from Birth by Sleep. I just went over that. But as you can see, she has attack, magic, and items down here. Meaning that she's going to have a similar play style to how Sora will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. So basically, two, um, Birth by Sleep 0.2 is going to serve as kind of like a small demo, I'm guessing, for the gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 3, which is something amazing within itself. Can't wait to play this. Um, there's not really much else to say except for the one thing. Obviously, if you don't know, now you know. Terra or either Zenino or either a quantum between the two are in the game. And maybe this will give us some answers into my man Zemnis, who used to refer to Aqua's armor as a friend back in um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Maybe we'll get some answers along the lines of that. So with that being said, you guys, that is my quick little reaction slash analysis of the trailer. If you want me to go really in-depth with this thing, going screen by screen, let me know, you guys. I will see all of you in the next video. For videos like this one and others, please like it, subscribe as well, and I will see you next time.